all right what's up with the youtube fam i'm back again with another video so listen man this is an update on that situation where the young lady by the name of raven yates abandoned her two children at home for months on end she actually left her kids at home for those who don't know what's going on with the situation i'm gonna give y'all a brief summary real quick so i can get caught up to date with everybody else so basically long story short in november i think it was november of last year she left her children at home for months on end they only had beans and stuff like that available at home and uh yeah a lack of medicine nothing was at home but a 12 year old child and a newborn baby and she actually just left now listen a lot of y'all were saying that she probably had passed away and things like that and i told y'all in the beginning of another video that i did about the situation that i don't feel like she had passed i'm gonna put that right here so y'all can see and it's sensitive and it's, if, that, if that is the case i want to say what's up what's up with the youtube fam before y'all jump into the video i do want to say this right here a lot of people are saying that she might have passed away and things like that if that is the case i want to say rp to her but i really don't believe that you know but hey, it is what it is. I just want to make sure that I'm not being this sensitive in this situation if she did pass away. So I just want to make sure I make that statement. And uh, if anything in this situation is true, I mean, one thing is true in this situation, it ain't no excuse for none of this that took place with these children. I'm not making no excuses for no grown ass people. And I don't feel like that nobody should. But yeah, like I said, I don't feel like she had passed or nothing like that. I just feel like she really was running. I mean, it could seem like that to a certain extent, but overall, man, you know, that really ain't what's going on. And I, I mean, I really just feel like that, you know, the situation where, you know, a mother actually, well, I can't even call her mother doing nothing like this, but a person leaving their children behind to do whatever they got to do. It's got to be a mental issue somewhere in there. But overall, you know, people just give up sometimes and we got to realize that sometimes as well. You know, you can't make excuses and justifications for certain things. Some shit is what it is, you know. They just don't be giving a damn at some point in time. And I've seen certain things about her post and saying that, um, you know, people don't understand her life. You know, everybody, man, listen, everybody try to come up with some type of bullshit when they do some bullshit. Hold yourself accountable for what you did and realize what you did when nothing that a parent would do. That's just how I feel about it. I know postpartum is a major factor in a lot of situations. I know people get depressed and stuff like that, but you got to think about everything before you had these children. You got to think 20 steps ahead before you even had a child. You know, I mean, it, I mean, it looks good, you know, for the public and things like that, but as far as what you got to deal with at home on an everyday basis, yeah, that shit going to hit you, and it's going to hit you harder than what you thought it would have. You know what I'm saying? So I always pay attention to what you do before you get into it. But overall, man, if y'all don't know what's going on, I'm going to give y'all this little video right quick so y'all can watch She's this and get caught up a little bit more with a little bit more specific details. I just gave y'all a brief summary real quick, but let's go ahead and get into it real quick and see what the hell is going on. I'm going to tell y'all what I feel about this during the video and after the video. If you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video that's on my channel, all you got to do is just get up off here, go find us somewhere, see if you can find the hell. I just told you basically what's going on, so you should be good. But uh, yeah, man, to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters, man, y'all already know I'm not talking to y'all when I say that. All I want y'all to do is hit that like button for me because I'm dropping consistent content and make sure I jump in the comment section and add on my social medias as well. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, everything going to be down there if y'all want to add those, man. But uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get it to it and see what's going on with the update. This is what actually took place from the beginning and then the update is going to be right behind it. Let's get into it. Inside this home, a nightmare for two young ch 12 and 3 years old. Roman Forest Police Chief Stephen Carlisle says they were abandoned for nearly two months. There was no food in the house. Uh, everything was empty. The, uh, there was some dry beans and some spices is about it. Their mother, Raven Yates, left them in late September, he says. There's been a warrant out for her arrest since December. Investigators say the 12-year-old never told anyone because she was threatened by what might happen to her little brother. They have different fathers. And she was afraid that her mother was her father was going to take her and leaving the three-year-old by himself fearful she obeyed she called and yeah like they about to say that she was calling her dad i know a lot of people were saying where was the dad and all this other type of stuff he lived in another state and he really didn't know what was going on in my opinion and it was certain things that he was used to doing for a period of time to the point where he felt like this is normal you know he had to send his child money consistently and things like that to help out and the child was reaching out asking can you send me some money for this and send me some money for that and the child was schooled on how to do certain things to get them by i guess the, the child was ordering food and you know they had little beans and stuff there but overall the child was doing certain things to make sure that they was having something to eat every night and i commend that child on that and people got to stop raising their child to raise their other children that shit is so weird to me stop raising your children so early to be an adult to raise your children so you can do something else you feel me I know that it's going to be a lot of responsibility being a big sister and stuff like that when you're dealing with a single mom or something like that. But overall, 
stop doing that just for that so you can go live your life. Now do what you need to do. You lay down, cock your legs up and toot that ass up and all the other type of shit to have a child. So you take care of your responsibilities. Stop putting your responsibilities on your other children. That shit is lame and weird to me. Let's get back into it though. The father saying mom was working and mm -hmm. he would send food. According to police, he's a music producer in California. He called police once family members spotted Yates in Mobile, Alabama, where she's from, without her kids. When he got a call from his ex-mother-in-law and they put two and two together, he caught the first plane over here. Investigators shocked to see how they were living. Now the officers checked the bedroom of the children and discovered heavy urine odor coming from the three-year-old's bed. Yates continues to be active on social media, posting to her thousands of followers. As investigators work with Mobile Police to arrest the 31-year-old mom, just tripping. she's the wanted on weed. two counts of abandoning or endangering a child without intent to return. She hasn't responded to our messages. Oh yeah, and then the brother was on there saying that she got mental issues. That's why I brought that up a while ago. I forgot about it. I'm glad that I'm watching this so I can get kind of a, you know, a reawakening on the whole situation. But basically, he was just saying it was a mental issue and shit like that. But I feel like that with you knowing that it's a mental issue somewhere in someone's situation, you should be more attentive to that situation. But overall, I feel like that they was just enabling her, knowing that it was a problem and still just didn't give a damn. You know, like I said before in my other video, if you real close to me, Brother, sister, cousin, I really don't got nobody that's really close to me like that. But, I mean, shit, if it was somebody that was real, real close to me like that, I would be all on their ass about where my nieces and nephews, where my cousins and all the other type of shit. You feel me? Now, if you close to me, you already know I'm going to be asking where the baby is. You know what I'm saying? It's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like that was bullshit when it came to that situation right there. They knew what the hell was going on to a certain extent. But, overall, they probably just didn't know how deep it went. So, I'm not going to fault them all the way around. But, I feel like that shit, they should have been more attentive to that. And don't make excuses for her now. She just fucked up. That's all. You feel me? That's just how I feel about it. Let's get back into it, though. A 12-year-old cannot take care of a 3-year-old for a long period of time. That's, it's dangerous, especially uh, over a month and a half. There's, it's, it's dangerous. It's irresponsible. They say two months. This Montgomery County mother accused her smiling. her two children was all smile. Look at this slow fucker looking ignorant as hell, just smiling and shit. Knowing that your children been at home and abandoned and stuff like that, you got a smile on your face. You should feel less than anything on earth right now. This shit is so pitiful, lame, and I, ain't, I can't say that word, but just slow. We're going to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? She real, real behind. <laughs> and I, keep, I mean, look. I mean, just look at her. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, she probably tried to play an insanity role or something like that. I can tell how she's trying to play it right now. But overall, that girl ain't crazy. She knew what the hell she was doing. Here, she knew how to cock that leg up and toot it up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to that father for being a father. You know, some people were saying, you shouldn't commend him. That's what he's supposed to do. Man, you better commend anybody who there for these children these days. Man, what the hell wrong with y'all? People always trying to take something from somebody else. Man, these, these fathers deserve that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they doing what they supposed to do. And I feel like that's why you should commend them. Because majority of them ain't doing what they supposed to do. And they got all the opportunity in the world. And it's crazy that some of these so-called men want to act like they didn't have an opportunity to help. And all this other weird, lame-ass shit when they really could have helped. There ain't no such thing as trying and shit like that when you got a child out here that's willing to accept anything that you will give them. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame the moms and other all the other shit. You could have went to the courts. You could have got your custody. There's so many different ways you could have helped and did other shit to be there for the child. So don't sit there and make excuses and shit like that when you could have been there. I'm a father and I want to do whatever the hell I could do to be in my child's life. So I know it ain't no excuse for no other man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All the other shit is just bullshit. People can put on this facade like they tried. Oh, man, I did this. I, you didn't try a goddamn thing. Stop lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That weird ass shit, man. Man, that shit crazy. Let's get back into it, though. When she was arrested three states away. Yeah, kind of a bizarre photo there. Well, officers found Raven Yates in Alabama more than two months after she vanished. ABC 13's Brianna Cotter is getting new facts on her arrest. And Brianna, what's next for this woman? Raven Yates still needs to be processed in Mobile, Alabama, before she's brought back here to Montgomery County to face the charges against her. Detectives working this case had been looking for Yates for about three months. I'm told law enforcement in Mobile had to break down the bedroom door of an older man's apartment to find her. Mm. 
the popularity you know, they of it uh, got a lot of people interested <laughs> in it. Raven Yates gained thousands of followers and has been trending on social media ever since she made headlines for accusations of abandonment. Roman Forest Police say she left her 12-year-old daughter and 3-year-old son all alone for two months. True. Investigators say they had to fend for themselves with little food or medicine at this house on Maple Woodridge Drive while Yates lived in Alabama. I've never seen anything like that and I've never seen anybody play into the camera and play into the uh, social media as she has. The entire time Yates was posting provocative images like these online while fully aware there was a warrant out for her arrest. Roman Forest Police Chief Stephen Carlisle says tips poured in from the public and that's what eventually led to her arrest in Mobile. This photo capturing Yates in cuffs and seemingly unbothered by the allegations that she put her own children mm, in danger. Mm, and just smile for the camera. She, she wanted to have a smile. She wanted to look good. Yates' 12-year-old mm -hmm. is with her father who lives out of state. Police say the child was afraid to tell her dad what was happening at first because she was worried she'd be separated from her brother who has a different dad. At last check, Yates' other children were safe with relatives while she prepares to head back home now. We're waiting for her to be extradited back to Montgomery County. And I like then, you. Uh, of course, we'll be able to interview her and uh, find out her side of the story, and uh, we'll go from there. If convicted, she could spend 20 years behind bars Woo. away from social media attention. In Montgomery County, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. That's the crazy thing about clout these days, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll do anything for it. They don't give a damn. As long as they got a smile on their face like this right here. People will get shot a hundred times and come out there be smiling. You know what I'm saying? Just to make it seem like they not faced. <laughs> just slow as hell. <laughs> just slow as hell. And the internet just control them, man. That shit crazy, boy. I mean, in all actuality, she going to be in there crying. There's going to be many, many nights where she going to be sitting there looking crazy, crazy as hell if they actually convict her, which I feel like they're going to try to come up with something to make sure that she don't go to jail. You know how they have some different women these days. But, you know, with her being a black lady here, they might try to, you know what I'm saying, give her something a little extreme. But, hey, we re well, ain't nothing extreme really when you do your children like this. Let me re reiterate that. But overall, man, I'm glad that they did what they did. I like that police officer. I don't really rock with the police like that, you know what I'm saying, but I really do like them when they or genuine in my opinion you know what i'm saying when they actually give a damn about these kids and shit like that but uh yeah man y'all was talking about a 14 year old girl that she had or something like that that um she actually ran away or something like that true enough y'all some of y'all were saying why you didn't speak on that man because we talking about the situation at hand that child is found that child is good and safe and sound those children were abandoned to a whole nother level now i don't know what the hell was going on with this situation but i do want to hear her explanation over time and i will give y'all updates on that but shout out to all the parents that's out there really being parents stepping up to the plate defying all the odds you know what I'm saying? Just relentlessly going after child custody, going to be in a child's life. Whatever the case may be, shout out to y'all, man. Because a lot of these parents out here be faking the funk, trying to put on for everybody else. And they act like they don't do it for social media, but they do it for social media. Because people who really, really know you, know you not in your child's life. Know you didn't try like you claim you did. And all that fake ass shit, man. You know, a lot of people don't want to look at themselves in the mirror. You got to hold yourself accountable for being a piece of shit ass person or a piece of shit ass parent. Somebody who really just wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? You try to sit back and manipulate the whole system and everybody else around you. You got to realize that you're dealing with people who are just as smart as you or smarter than you. So, yeah, just because you went through certain life experiences and shit like that don't mean nothing. It's some people that see manipulation from a mile away. You can't get over on them. You know what I'm saying? You can play that role with everybody else, but somebody on to your ass. You know what I'm saying? So going on, on with that shit. But anyways, man, I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. If y'all made it to the end of this video, I do appreciate y'all real talk. And I will holler at y'all later on another video. And make sure you add my crime channel, man. I'm going to get real active. I got some vlogs coming up. I'm going to lace y'all up on a lot of stuff that's been going on with me personally and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we're going to keep on rocking. And I am going to do some spins to my channels. You know what I'm saying? I might got another channel coming up real, real soon. So y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. But that's all I got to say, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're rocking with me, man. And if you don't like my commentary, I really don't give a damn. <laughs> I'll holler at y'all later on another video. All right. Inside this home, a nightmare for two young children, 12 and 3 years old. Roman Forest Police Chief Stephen Carlisle says they were abandoned for nearly two months. There was no food in the house. Uh, everything was empty. The, uh, there was some dry beans and some spices is about it. Their mother, Raven Yates, left them in late September, he says. There's been a warrant out for her arrest since December. Investigators say the 12 year old never told anyone because she was threatened by what might happen to her little brother. They have different fathers. And she was afraid that her mother was her father was going to take her and leaving the three-year-old by himself. 
Fearful, she obeyed. She'd call her father, saying mom was working and he would send food. According to police, he's a music producer in California. He called police once family members spotted Yates in Mobile, Alabama, where she's from, without her kids. When he got a call from his ex-mother-in-law and they put two and two together, he caught the first plane over here. Investigators shocked to see how they were living. Uh, the officers checked the bedroom of the children and discovered heavy urine odor coming from the uh, three-year-old's bed. Yates continues to be active on social media, posting to her thousands of followers. As investigators work with Mobile Police to arrest the 31-year-old's mom, she's wanted on two counts of abandoning or endangering a child without intent to return. She hasn't responded to our messages. A 12-year-old cannot take care of a three-year-old for a long period of time. That's it's dangerous, especially uh, over a month and a half. There's, it's, it's dangerous, it's irresponsible of a parent. This Montgomery County mother accused of abandoning her two children was all smiles when she was arrested three states away. Yeah, kind of a bizarre photo there. Well, officers found Raven Yates in Alabama more than two months after she vanished. ABC 13's Brianna Connor is getting new facts on her arrest. And Brianna, what's next for this woman? Raven Yates still needs to be processed in Mobile, Alabama, before she's brought back here to Montgomery County to face the charges against her. Detectives working this case had been looking for Yates for about three months. I'm told law enforcement in Mobile had to break down the bedroom door of an older man's apartment to find her. The popularity of it uh, got a lot of people interested in it. Raven Yates gained thousands of followers and has been trending on social media ever since she made headlines for accusations of abandonment. Roman Forest Police say she left her 12 year old daughter and three year old son all alone for two months. Investigators say they had to fend for themselves with little food or medicine at this house on Maplewood Ridge Drive while Yates lived in Alabama. I've never seen anything like that and I've never seen anybody play into the camera and play into the uh, social media as she has. The entire time Yates was posting provocative images like these online while fully aware there was a warrant out for her arrest. Roman Forest Police Chief Stephen Carlisle says tips poured in from the public and that's what eventually led to her arrest in Mobile. This photo capturing Yates in cuffs and seemingly unbothered by the allegations that she put her own children in danger. I think was playing for the camera. She, she wanted to have a smile. She wanted to look good. Yates' 12 year old is with her father who lives out of state. Police say the child was afraid to tell her dad what was happening at first because she was worried she'd be separated from her brother who has a different dad. At last check, Yates' other children were safe with relatives while she prepares to head back home now. We're waiting for her to be extra back to Montgomery County and then uh, of course we'll be able to interview her and uh, find out her side of the story and uh, we'll go from there. If convicted, she could spend 20 years behind bars and away from social media attention. In Montgomery County, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.